Popping here today are thunderstorms. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've been watching thunderstorms popping up. Fortunately, at this time, no severe weather. So good. that's some good news. But we're still keeping an eye here on Tropical Depression Alberto. As you can see here, the center of rotation is working its way through portions of northern Indiana right now. But the feeder bands from the storm system are moving across portions of west central in, uh, Ohio. And we saw one band of showers and thunderstorms move through. Some of them were severe, produced some gusty winds, winds as high as 45 miles an hour or so, and also some very heavy rain. But new feeder bands are starting to develop, and we'll continue to monitor them as we go throughout the evening. Here's the latest coordinates on Tropical Depression Alberto, positioned uh, just to the south of South Bend, Indiana, at 40.5 north, 86.4 west, in case you're tracking. Wind at 30 miles an hour, moving to the north, northeast at 23, and the pressure is at 998 millibars. Over the next several hours here across western Ohio, we're expecting temperatures generally in the 70s. Winds will continue to blow out of the southwest 10 to 20 miles an hour. Most of the storms are moving their way off towards the north. They're starting to clear out of the Miami Valley with the first round that we saw throughout the evening, but more are starting to develop to our south and west. So let's go ahead and take you in a little bit closer here around Eaton and Somerville and Arcanum. You can see here generally just some light showers at this time, but we've seen so much heating throughout the day today, and there's lots of deep moisture to work with within the storm system. We'll continue to monitor those storms as they develop. Further to the north, still some heavy downpours around Bell Fountain and also to the um, northeast of Cable and to the east of Liberty. And so far, the rainfall amounts officially at uh, the Dayton International Airport over a third of an inch, and a couple of weather checkers have called in just under a quarter of an inch. And a lot of those downpours did come fairly quickly. As we go through the rest of the evening, the severe weather threat will be low. There is a slight risk of tornadoes, but more likely heavy rain and also the possibility of very gusty winds. Definitely want to keep an eye on that. And as we take our eye to the sky, we're looking out here at some fast moving clouds here around Greenville at this time. No rain, but we could see more showers and storms work their way in. Currently 75 degrees outside, winds on the south at 15 miles an hour, and the pressure is at 29.70 inches. With the rain, that allows Allow temperatures to cool down this evening. Uh, 73 right now in Fairborn, 76 in Moraine, and 76 also in Germantown. Future track shows that Alberto will continue to affect us through the evening hours. Then we quiet down during the overnight hours, and then tomorrow we're going to see another storm system move into our area, and it could spark some afternoon showers and thunderstorms once again. So tonight we're looking at uh, 70 degrees for that overnight low, muggy conditions with scattered showers and storms, continuing with breezy conditions for tonight. Night. Then tomorrow, mostly cloudy, humid again with highs in the mid-80s and a chance mainly of afternoon uh, showers and storms. Here's a look at that extended forecast. Similar forecast on Friday, highs near 85. Cooler on Saturday with some sunshine, highs close to 80 degrees. And then the rest of that extended forecast here, slight chance of rain on Sunday, otherwise dry weather as we start out next week.